Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. I recently had someone reach out to me and ask the best way to download maps into her Gaia GPS app. She is about to embark upon a through hike of the Benton Mackay Trail and I'm so excited for her, but this is something that I've been asked in the past and so I figured I'd make a video to show you the process that I use when I need to do the same thing for my own hikes. It's certainly not the only way to do it, but I think that it's the easiest way because it's all done within the app and it just takes a couple of different steps to learn the process. You'll probably watch this video and never have to watch it again once you get the hang of it. So let's get started. And what I'm going to start with is just clicking on the Gaia app to get into it. And what it's going to always default to is showing you where you are right now. That little orange widget is you. And I'm here at my home, and so that's where it's showing me that I am. But before you start the download process, I would recommend first going up to the upper right-hand corner and clicking on the icon that looks like sheets of paper in a stack. When you click on that, it's going to show you all the options for overlays that you can have on the map screen. So that screen that just showed me where I am, it was showing the Gaia Topo layer. Now your screen may not look like this, it may not be populated with any of these layers, especially if you're new to Gaia and you've just recently downloaded it, but these are all the ones that I have uploaded into the app to make available to myself as I need them. But the way that I've added those is I've gone to the bottom of that screen where it says add map layers. And if I click on that little plus sign, it's going to bring up all these categories. And then from there, you can open up into, let's say, the United States. You've got all these different options here. I will say this, though. The premium version gives you a lot more options than the basic version. So if you just have the basic version, you're not going to see nearly as much available but you are going to see enough to get by. So if you want to stick to the basic, it's fine. There's not a thing in the world wrong with it. It's just a much more robust option to go with the premium plan. You just get a lot more of these different layers. But for this exercise, I'm going to stick with the layer that is consistent in both the basic and the premium version, which is the Gaia Topo layer, and I'm going to leave that as my active layer. All these that say inactive, that just simply means I'm not letting them show up onto the map screen right now, but at, with the premium version, I could actually layer some of them. I could say, I want Gaia Topo along with cell coverage of Verizon, and then what that shows me in this kind of pinkish red color is where Verizon has coverage. And so if I were in the National Park, I could click over here or uh, span, pan over here and see that I'm going to have a lot of dead zones in certain parts, but then say on the Appalachian Trail, I'm probably going to have pretty good coverage. So it just depends on where you are, but that can be a helpful layer sometimes if you just want to know, will you have reception, especially if you're hiking solo or that type of thing. So once you do that, though, you've got what you want lowered, layered into the active layer and just have what you want accessible to you. You're going to click Done. And then at this point, I would go to the bottom of the screen where it says Discover with the magnifying glass and click on that. And then I'm going to do a search for whatever it is that I'm wanting to download. In this case, this person wants the Benton Mackay Trail. So it populates and... At the very top, you see that one that says Benton Mackay Trail with the trailhead icon. That's what I'm after. If I see that trailhead icon, that typically indicates that I'm about to download the entire trail, not just a part of it. So like the next option would say Benton Mackay Trail, Fontana Dam to somewhere, somewhere in the park probably. That's not what I want because I want the whole thing. So I'm going to click on the one at the top and then I come to this screen. Obviously, I've got now this download option, but before we go there, if I wanted to see where it's going to encompass what I'm going to download, I could click on that map right there near the bottom. I'm going to say expand preview map, and it's just going to give me a preview of what it's about to download. It may not download this entire screen's worth of area, but it's going to do anything that encompasses the Benton Mackay Trail and the surrounding area, and that's what's important. So I'm going to back out of that, and now I'm going to hit download. It's going to take me to this screen where it's going to think for just a second because it wants to show me how much space I'm about to eat up on my phone. And this is important to note, too, that if you are running low on space, you don't want to do this until you free up some of that space. Get some rid of some pictures, podcasts, whatever it is that's bogging it down. Because sometimes Gaia, I have found, will be a little glitchy if it doesn't have enough room and it won't always tell you. Obviously, it won't be able to download what you need sometimes, but it doesn't always do the best job of repeating the message to you if you miss the memo the first time. It'll pop up on the screen, but then I'm not sure it keeps popping up. 
So at this point, just be careful and mindful of how much you do download based on your the size of your phone and how much storage you have left. So it toggles automatically to what your active layer is. So in this case, obviously, it's the Gaia Topo layer, but I could toggle all these other layers too if I wanted them. I think that's only a premium option, and I think you can only do one time or one, one option at the time with the basic version. Not a biggie if that's all you want. I would recommend going with the high resolution if you're going to zoom in and look at anything in more detail. The low resolution is pretty low. It's not that great. Medium, I really just skip over it and just go straight to high usually, so I'm not even sure how well that does. But this is the part where you just pick and choose based on what you've already put on to your app, based on all those layers that you could have, and then you're going to hit download. At this point, it's going to think for just another minute. And it should take me out of this in just a second, like that. And at that point, you could back out and go back to your map, which is just that lower left icon. It's going to show me that it's working on that download with that little box in the left upper corner with the spinning wheel. That's indicating that it's working on it. But if I want to look and see what this looks like once it downloads, what I can do now is go, say, to Springer Mountain, the southern terminus of the Benton Mackay Trail. Rather than panning all over the map looking for the Benton Mackay Trail, I just go to somewhere I know that I can find. And instead of Benton Mackay, I'm going to now type Springer and Mountain. Let's see. And it should... And sometimes it can be a little funny with the way it looks for things. Try it one more time. I find sometimes when it's downloading, too, it acts a little funny. Oh, <laughs> that might be why my internet connection's not so great. I'm in my, my closet in my bedroom to get away from kids making noise. <laughs> but So there we go. So now it popped up when it had better reception. So Springer Mountain with the little mountain icon. I'm going to click on that. And what it's going to do is bring me up to a page similar to that Benton Mackay Trail. There we go. And then I'm going to click on my map, expand the preview again. And this is what that layer will look like once it's downloaded. And it may already be finished. And you're going to see Springer Mountain. You're going to see the Appalachian Trail. It has that nice little AT icon. The Benton Mackay Trail shares the same path for a little ways. And then it's going to cut off, it should, yes, in a northwesterly direction right there. The thing that's sometimes a little bit hard to tell whoops, is when you have these basic layers like the Gaia layer, it doesn't always label every trail. So like the AT, it will label, but it may not necessarily label the Benton Mackay. My guess is that it will. Sometimes you have to kind of zoom in and out. It'll show up and then disappear, but it usually will show up somewhere, but I'm pretty sure that's the Benton Mackay. And you just have to know what you're looking for. So always carry a paper map and compass with you on a hike. Don't ever neglect to do that because then you can cross-reference it to the map on Gaia. But that's one of the reasons I like the premium version too. And I'm not trying to sell you on it, but it just makes a lot of sense for a lot of reasons for people. Is you can now go to the Nat Geo Trails Illustrated layer if I wanted that instead. What that's going to do is give me a much better picture of the Benton Mackay because I already know that, well, yeah, the Nolan Creek Trail. Now I'm in the park again. That trail, though, is the Benton, Benton Mackay Trail. It's highlighted in yellow, and I could keep following it down, 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 down. There it goes, and it's going to eventually tell me it's the Benton Mackay. But if I had gone back to Springer Mountain, it would start off in yellow just like it is. It's highlighted. Not every trail is going to do that, but with Nat Geo maps, oftentimes these big-name big trails, they will be highlighted like that. So it just makes it easy to reference and find without having to think too hard about it when you're tired after a long day of hiking or whatnot. But I hope that's helpful. That's how I do it. It's not too complicated. It's just those steps. And really, once you get your layers in and set, you don't even need to do that step. It's You can skip it. But if you have questions, leave them below. I'm happy to help try to answer them if this was confusing or if you have comments on how you do it and it's a lot easier than this, by all means, teach the rest of us. I'd love to know other ways to do it as well. If you are not familiar with Gaia and want to explore having uh, the, the app on your phone, there is a free version, but it's pretty limited. So most people opt to eventually upgrade to one of the plans and I'm able to offer a discount. It's upwards of 50%, I think, if you do it in certain ways, if you get an extended subscription for a few years and that type of thing, but it's, I think, a minimum of 20% off, so it's a good deal. So I'll leave that below, too, if it's helpful, and I hope this video is helpful. Y'all have a great day, and happy trails. 
Hey there, me again, still in my closet after making the video, but I wanted to jump in and just make one specific note about hiking multiple trails at once versus just one linear trail like the Benton Mackay, where you're probably not gonna veer from it much. There's a better method to doing that. You don't want to go through and have to list out every single trail that you're gonna hike on a day hike in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. You could hike so many trails that day and it could turn into a very long endeavor having to download uh, a bunch of different things like that. So there is a better way, and I'll cover that in another video. I wanted to keep it specific in this one to the question that was asked of me, and that was how to download a specific trail. But if you want to be notified of the next one, just, I guess, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Or if you're watching this after it's been released, I will leave a link to it below or somewhere on the screen. I hope that's helpful, though. Just don't feel like you've got to do that a hundred different times for a hundred different trails. This only applies to specific um, instances, not for every single hike that you'll go on, probably. But that's it. Y'all take care. Happy trails.